What's up, my PT peeps? One Eye Bri back to talk about The Walking Dead Season 7 Second Half discussion about things we want to see and have answered. These may occur, they may not, but they are things we definitely want to see. Spoiler warning for Season 7, the comics all together, and we don't want to ruin it for you. Spoiler warning if you don't want to know, and here we go. First, let's talk about this in the trailer. <laughs> Rick in the car. Is it the same car that we saw in the first trailer? Is he chasing after a certain someone? Is he chasing after Simon? In the trailer for the second half, it makes you think so. So we'll see if it finds out, but I think it's a redirection, and we're not sure if he actually chases Simon or not. Now in the San Diego Comic-Con trailer over the summer, we had this chase scene, this car scene, with a blue car, white hood, white top, the tire, you know, you see Dwight and Arat going after somebody. Now I think it's Gordon, it was in the first trailer of the summer, and I think, and what the word is, is that it got taken out of episode 3. We might see it as a flashback, we might not see it, but I don't think that's Rick driving that car, I think it's Gordon the guy that Dwight shot in the episode 3 that became a walker that was part of the savior. Arat and Dwight went after him, so I think it just got taken out as the word on there too. Will we see it again? I don't know, but I, th I don't think it's the same car. We have a whole video talking about it, so will it be or will it be used in the second half or not? We'll just have to wait to find out. I want to see them pick up right where it left off at the hilltop, season 7, episode 8. They ended at the hilltop, except for the extended scene at Alexandria with the, the boots and the guy spying on them. But I don't see a certain someone here in this walking back path from Barrington House. Jesus talks about a radio and talks about we don't have to go back yet because the saviors aren't going yet. We can listen in to hear where they're at long range and said, where are we, we going to go then? Jesus said, listen to the radio. We, we know when to go back. We can listen into them, you know, you know, kind of sneak around a little bit. But I think it's time for you to meet King Ezekiel, or Ezekiel, King Ezekiel. And <laughs> Rick's like, King? What are you talking about? So which is awesome, because that's going to set up Rick to meet Ezekiel and the kingdom joining the fight. In this group here, I do not see Maggie. Maggie does not walk down to them. Something probably happens in the Barrington house with Gregory. Maggie's going to stay at the hilltop. She's not going to go to the kingdom, but she's there. If you see her in the white next to Michonne, they walk up to the Barrington house and she doesn't go down to say goodbye or whatever. So maybe something happens with Gregory or not. But Maggie, let's talk about what I do want to see about Maggie. I want to see her progressing to become the leader of the Hilltop even more so than they already set up. They've set it up in several episodes, even in when she was in Alexandria, to become a leader with Deanna, how to talk to people, how to be a people person and be a leader, and that's awesome. And I want to see more of that going forward, if not for her to become full-fledged leader of the hilltop. Gregory needs to go as we all know and it's going to happen from the comics. It's just going to be a matter of when. Is it season 7 or season 8 when she finally becomes the leader? Hopefully it's in season 7 when she takes over but if it's season 8 that's fine as well. Maggie Re, badass moment there from season 7 episode 5 and Maggie Re going to take over at hilltop and I want to see that for sure. Also from the trailer we see the group and Jesus at the Kingdom Auditorium. Ezekiel's a little off. <laughs> He's like, I don't know about this. Probably got to be won over a little bit. And we got to see some Shiva. Is she next to Ezekiel? I think she would be, you know, especially with a meeting like this. I want to see more of Shiva. We only saw her in one episode. Hopefully we see her in several episodes in the second half, even in the season eight, as I want to see that for sure. Richard's excited. I'll be excited too when they all meet in the auditorium because we got to have the group get all together again. I didn't. I want to see Morgan talk to Rick and Carol and everything. I want to see everybody meet up again, the whole group back together. I want to see Ezekiel join the fight. I want to see them step up and develop a plan and it gets implemented into season eight. The saviors need to go down. This guy needs to go down. That's for sure. And we got to set it up. Now the comics, I want to see the comic come to life too. I don't know how they, they won't if they don't, especially with Dwight. I don't know how they're going to get to that part of the storyline. But before that, I want to see Carol and Daryl meet up because they haven't seen each other for a while now. And the last thing, Carol wants to be like, I want to be left alone. I want to see a knock on the door and she gets mad and then she, she opens it and it's Daryl. And I want to see her break down 
and be there and she helps him and he helps her and they and they, and they grow off of each other because Daryl is broken Carol is broken and these people need each other to come back around again and I think it would be a nice great moment to see that because Daryl is a broken person and I want to see him how broken he is is he just going to kill saviors without thinking about it you know because what they did to him is terrible and I don't know if there's ever coming back from that he's going to probably take it out on every savior he meets starting with Fat Joey then probably Maybe even Simon, maybe, who knows, you know, Davey, whatever. Daryl is a changed person. I want to see how changed he is. And hopefully Morgan helps him, Carol helps him or whatever. But ultimately he needs to bottle that rage up and do it constructively for the group. Daryl is on for vengeance. He's going to be ruthless. He's going to be attacking the saviors and taking them out. And hopefully it doesn't get him in trouble. Because what they did to him was terrible. And I just don't know how he's going to come back around from that. If he's just going to be crazy, ruthless killer against the saviors on there. Also, I want to see who helped him. I want it to be clearly stated and known who helped him. Was it Dwight? Was it Sherry? Was it Jesus? Was it all three? And it would be a good connection of Dwight helping him there and also coming to the kingdom and there as well. Was that a match? Bobby pin matches holding the door open. Is that a little clue as well? To, so Daryl can get out to the bikes that the key was left there. We didn't see Dwight in that episode. So was he go, already going to the kingdom? Is he already going out? Well, so we'll see. They had little connections and clues all over the place. Daryl's pissed when he knocks that over. So that's the other thing I want to talk about with Dwight. Is Dwight going to be the main person connecting the saviors to the kingdom, to the survivors? Has he had enough of Negan? Because that's the storyline in the comics. Is Dwight goes against Negan and the saviors when Negan is defeated. And he takes over the saviors and that's kind of where they go because the saviors become allies of the group against the whispers of course and i think that eventually has to come that storyline right i mean dwight's at the kingdom and i just don't know what they're going to do if they don't actually do that so he has to be in that episode right or they're going to come around with a different aspect because he eventually becomes leader of the saviors which would be pretty awesome nice big turnaround but i don't know if daryl and him can coexist now, a major thing is, who is this? Is it Dwight? Is it Cindy? Is it Morales? Is it somebody else? <laughs> but for all intents and purposes, I think we know who it is. But if you know our channel, who do these boots belong to? And there's been so many different theories. Is it Morales coming back? Is it Dwight going after? Is he spying on the group? Is it a different thing? Is it that? I think it's this group. If you know this channel, you know this is their theory, what we're going with on it. Garbage Pail Kids will find out who the boots belong to. Cindy don't think they belong to Cindy, but we will see Cindy come back around probably towards the end of the season, I'll just say, because the people are going to need them, right? Rick's group, they need some guns, they need some allies, they need something, and Oceanside seems to be coming back around. I don't know if this chick does, but I think Cindy, maybe even the leader, come back around to help the group. Heath, we're going to find out more about you. We just don't know about that, and I would like to find out possibly. Might be wait to season eight, though. Rick, now we got to find out what's up with where they're at here. They meet the Garbage Pail Kids. Are they gonna use these walkers as weaponized walkers? I would love to see that. I would love to see a group like the Garbage Pail Kids. That's not their name. We just don't know their name yet, so we don't know what to call them. I would like to see, is that metal around the brain so they can't just kill the walker and they use the walkers as weapons against the saviors? That would be freaking great. Now, the saviors come back to Alexandria and Rick hopefully has a plan for them. He's going to set things up. Maybe this is the start of the war, march to war, end of the storyline into all that war. I'm, I'm thinking it's got to be at some point of this episode or they come back for a small little thing before these scenes most likely take place. If you want to pause them, that's awesome. This is right before all that war. This is the very end of March to War storyline or going to war. <laughs> Negan looks thrilled. Now, I have to talk about Sasha here because a lot of news has been breaking on her of potential spoilers. These may or may not occur. But is she going to have the Holly death? A lot of people think so, but a lot of people think also that she's going to die in the finale. We just don't know. we got to wait to find out because of various things. She's in a couple of shows. She's, she has a child, so she's got a lot going on on her too. But the word is, is that she dies in the finale trying to take out Negan. Michael Cutlass might have filmed some other parts of it as a flashback or something. I think her role is to set up Maggie at the hilltop and to make sure that she is safe, right? If Maggie becomes leader of the hilltop and she's safe, her kind of role is done. So Sasha is needed for that. After that, what does we have for her? If Maggie becomes leader of the hilltop, I think 
that Sasha can go, and I think she will in the finale. I, I believe that Maggie becomes leader of the Hilltop, everything gets set up, Sasha tries to take out Negan and fails, and she dies in the finale. Rick's got his gun, his Colt Python 357 Magnum, ready to roll, he's ready to rock, rise up. This is the promo for the second half of Season 7, and we cannot wait. There you go, guys. Let us know what you're excited for the second part of Season 7. Post in the comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.